Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a Project 20 pan. After doing my makeup inventory, I realized I really need to start using up more of my makeup products, especially throughout this year. I have a lot of makeup expiring, so let's get right to it and show you what I picked out. Okay, so I chose a lot of full size and deluxe size samples. It also looks like I have a lot of makeup, but I've also included some beauty products as well. So, okay, so I'm gonna start with the few items that I didn't finish in my Project 10 pan and my finished six by Christmas. I have included those in this project as well. So the first one was the perfume. It's the Parfume du Monde. Um, unfortunately, I didn't finish this one because I had a major allergic reaction and I had to stay away from perfumes. This didn't cause it, so I'm definitely going to finish it up. So this is where I am now. You can see this is where I was when I started. So it was a significant amount of product in here, but I definitely know I can finish it this time around. Okay, so the next thing I didn't finish was the e.l.f. mattifying powder. I was really surprised that I didn't get through this because I think I started with pan on this and this is where I am now. So there is still quite a bit of product left in here, but I definitely think that I can get through it in this project. At least I'm hoping so. Okay, so I think there's only two more items that I didn't um, finish in my project pans. The first one was the Clinique lipstick. So I finished off the mascara side, but the lipstick had a hard time finishing. Um, I really thought I was going to finish this as well. There isn't that much product. I'm wearing it today. Um, so I definitely think I can finish it now. My problem was is that there wasn't that much product in this. So I kept postponing trying to use it, thinking that I was going to finish it off. So this time I definitely have to stay focused and finish this off. And then the last one I didn't finish was the Neutrogena eyeshadow pencil and I knew I wasn't going to finish this especially when my first progress so you can see let's show you this was completely full and I had obviously high hopes in finishing this off um, and that just didn't happen so let me show you where I am now this is where I was when I started so I finished off half of this product which was really surprising to me um, so this is where I am now it looks like I need to make a new mark on here okay so a new line this is where I am now so still a significant amount of product Product in here but I think that I can finish this off I believe I'm going to be doing this project for another three months that's what I did with my last project 10 pan I know there's 20 items here now but you know it is a challenge so we'll see how I do okay so moving on to the newer items the first one I have here is the covergirl foundation this is the outlast stay fabulous three-in-one formula it's actually my favorite drugstore foundation the only reason why I need to finish this off is because it's already expired so November of 2014 this does have an SPF of 20 in it so that's probably why it's expired but I don't want to throw it away because it is such a great match for me and I mean it still works fine so I definitely need to finish this off though especially before I start using it in the summertime so it um, does look like it is about halfway finished so I can see that there's a little opening there so I'm gonna go ahead and mark that at that line hopefully that's where it is because if it's full I'll definitely have a lot more problems than I think I am going to have so um, yeah okay and then the next thing I have is a mini body lotion I know it's a smaller lotion but if you guys saw my sampled out challenge I have like 30 of these lotions, not just this one, but all kinds of lotions. So I think every time I do a project pan of any sort, there has to be a lotion involved in it. So this one is the Now Bay Natural and Organic. I figure if I finish this guy off, I'll just include another lotion and just keep rolling it until I'm actually finished with this project pan. Here item, it's the Rusk Deep Shine Color Care. It is a leave-in treatment 
treatment. I have already made a line here, so it's about halfway full. Um, I always forget to use products like this, and I do color my hair, so I definitely need to start using this more often, so hopefully this will give me the incentive to do that. I also included a MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I really don't have a lot of concealers in my collection, but this guy expires in March of this year, so these don't have that big of an expiration, so I definitely want to focus on this before trying another concealer. I'm also going to include a BB cream. This one's just a small deluxe sample, but again, if I run out of this, I'll just roll over another one. I think I have 11 BB creams in my collection, and I don't really reach for them that often. I usually wear foundation or nothing at all, so I feel like the days that I'm not working, maybe I can reach for a BB cream instead, since it is a lot lighter wear. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. I also included a couple serums. The first one here is the Jolique Serum. It is for your face, for the evening, and for day wear. I also included an eye serum, and this one is also a day and night serum. I don't use serums very often, but I know I should, so I definitely want to start focusing on using some of these serums up, and I'm sure I will probably enjoy using Another them. Another thing so that's about to expire in my collection is the Benefit What's Up highlighter. I really like this, but I don't reach for it that often. There is still quite a bit of product in here, and it says that it expires this month. So if I don't finish this in three months, I will probably have to toss this. So I'm definitely going to focus on using this, and I might get a little creative trying to finish this off. Okay, so that is 12 items so far. I have eight more left. The next one here is a lip gloss. It's the Bella Pierre lip gloss. Again, another thing that I need to start focusing on this year are lip glosses. I don't reach for them very often, and I really enjoy them. I just forget to put it on top of my lipstick. Like today, I have no lip gloss on. So this one that I chose not because it's going to expire, but because it actually leaks. So anytime I open it up, you can see there is product all in the middle here and then it seeps around the edges. So I don't wanna toss it because it's so pretty, but I definitely want to finish it off and get it out of my collection. Another face product here is a mini pore professional. I have been trying to finish off all of these mini pore professionals in my collection and I think that this is the last one. If I finish this guy off in the three month period, which I'm probably, yeah, I would think that I can finish this off. If I do, I'll just add another um, deluxe sample in place of this. I also included another eyeshadow. This is the Cream Eyeshadow Silver Sand by Laura Geller. So I'm gonna have my work cut out for me since I have two eyeshadows, but this one is a very different color and texture than the other eyeshadow, so I hope that they don't compete with each other and I'll be able to finish this guy up. Um, it does expire in April. April of this year, so I'll have at least another month, I think, to try and finish this off if I don't finish this in this project, but I definitely want to try and finish this soon. I'm also including the Lancome Night Cream. I absolutely love this cream. Yeah, it smells so good. It's just a really nice, clean scent to it, and I love putting this on in the evening. Um, I do have tons of other night creams that I need to get to, so I definitely need to focus on finishing this. It has about half of it left, so I think that that should be enough to get me through this um, project. Okay, and then the last three things are all makeup. The first one here is the e.l.f. Precision Eyeliner. This is a liquid eyeliner. Um, I got this from a friend recently, and I love it. I just have a heavy hand with eyeliner, so I make my lines a little bit too dark, or if I like skip a little bit, I have to go back over and then it becomes too dark as well. So I need to get better at applying liquid eyeliner. I think that if I do that, I would probably prefer this over um, any other eyeliners that I have in my collection right now. So yeah, hopefully that will get me um, used to using this. The next thing I wanna finish up is a little mini nail polish. This is by Color Club in the shade Top Shelf. So this is a very gorgeous rose gold color. 
Um, if you guys saw in my last project, Ten Pan, I had great luck finishing off a nail polish, so I'm hoping that this will continue. Um, if you guys also saw my makeup inventory that I just put up recently. You know I have a ton of nail polish that I need to get through and I've actually been thinking that I might just need to do a project polish as well as just including one in each project pan because if I try and reach my goal with that, um, one every couple months is not going to cut it. So I definitely need to finish off a lot of nail polish this year. Okay, and the last thing I think is going to be the hardest thing for me to finish off, and that is the Cream Blush by Tarte. This one is an exposed. Um, it is expiring this month, so yeah, I definitely need to do my best. I can't really show you how much product is in here because unfortunately, you press the bottom of this and it comes all the way up. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna show you just so you can see. So that is how much product I have left in here. A ton of product. Okay, so my main problem with this, not just that it's going to expire this uh, month, but I mean, to get it back down, you have to take it and press it. And unfortunately, oh, that went down pretty nice. But every time I have had to do that, all of the product comes seeping out the end. So I lose a ton of product. So, so this definitely isn't the best made um, container for this blush. It does smell really nice, though. Yeah, really nice. It's like a raspberry lemonade. And let me show you the color here. I mean, it's just a gorgeous color. You can sheer it out. Um, it will be really nice to use. And I definitely will have to get crafty with this as well if I think I might even try to make a dent in this. So that is everything that I chose for my Project 20 Pan. I think it's definitely going to be a challenge for me to finish off all of these products, but I am ready ready for it. After seeing my makeup inventory, I'm definitely a lot more focused on trying to use up all of the products that I have. If you guys are doing a project pan at all at or any use it up challenges, definitely let me know down below. I would love to come and support you and your channel or if you are doing it on Instagram or if you just want to let me know what you're trying to use up in the comments below. I would love to hear that. So thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.